This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review and this is the Acer Liquid A1 Android smartphone. This is available from importers, it's not sold by US carriers and Expansis provided this review unit to us. It sells for around $410 or $420 which means it's not that expensive for an unlocked phone. You can see it's certainly made of plastic but it looks kind of cool white. It's also available in red and black, though retailers may or may not carry that online who import these. It's got a lot of style. And the special thing about this phone is that it has 3G HSDPA on one of AT&T's bands, which is the 1900 megahertz band, which is available in most areas still. AT&T works on both 850 and 1900 megahertz bands. We have no problem at all getting a good 3G signal and getting about 3 meg per second downloads according to speedtest.net's speed tests on this phone. This is a pretty high-end Android phone and one thing that's nice is, well, obviously AT&T has been pretty slow to get any kind of Android action going. Unlike other US carriers in their first phone, the Motorola Backflip will be available shortly, has pretty much mid-rangey specs. If you're looking for something a little bit higher end that maybe competes with the Nexus One right here, the Acer Liquid has got got it all for you. This is an 800 by 480 display, so it's about the same resolution as the Nexus One. It has the same Qualcomm Snap Snapdragon CPU, but it's down clocked to 768 MHz, which is still plenty fast and does help a bit with battery life. It's actually a little bit cheaper than the Nexus One, which sells for 529 without a contract, and obviously if you're on AT&T you don't get any 3G with the Nexus One. So let's take a closer look at the Acer Liquid. Got your usual Android home screen here. This is vanilla Android 1.6 or Donut. That's the one disappointment here. Now that we have 2.0 on the Motorola Droid 2.1 on the Nexus One, we're not sure why this guy only has 1.6. And we do hope Acer offers an upgrade to 2.1. They have announced another phone, the E Liquid E, which will be out, I guess in the coming months. They haven't said specifically when that will come. To with Android 2.1 OS, otherwise the specs are about the same. So you've got your usual applications here. The phone is quite fast. This is a capacitive touchscreen. The phone has GPS, Bluetooth with A2DP and Wi-Fi 802.11bg. We'll take a look at maps first. There's of course Google Maps. There is no pin to zooming here, unlike HTC, Acer didn't write their own drivers for that, and that's not built into the operating system until version 2.0. So, you've got layers available here for traffic, satellite, new buzz, latitude, Wikipedia, transit lines, and your favorite places. This actually has street view, too. We'll take a look at that. You have to tap and hold and then you can choose Street View. phone has an accelerometer, so we're going to take a look at this in landscape mode. So there you have your Street View. Thanks to the phone's fast CPU and 256 megs of RAM, this works very responsibly. Instead of mechanical buttons, we have capacitive buttons down here. There's no haptic feedback or vibration, so it's they're a little dicey to use. The, the symbols are also a little bit different than what we usually see in Android phones, other than the, the search symbol, which is pretty familiar. This is your menu right here. This is the home, and this is back. So sometimes I know you really have to lay a finger on flat to get this to work. So we've got the web browser real quick. So we, we've got good HS DPA speeds here on AT&T, so pretty good performer. That's pretty much like nearly Wi-Fi speeds. Again, no pinch zooming here. Even if you load the Dolphin browser, you won't get it because Dolphin doesn't do pinch zoom unless you have Android 2.0 or newer. But you can zoom by using the zoom controls right here. Usual YouTube player on board, courtesy of Google. We'll just pick something featured on the front page. Same as with other Android phones, it 
plays in landscape mode, and by default it's going to show low quality, so you'll have to switch to high quality to see something better. So that's YouTube playing over AT&T's 3G network. Take a look at the phone's dialer here. See, it, it's a little different than most. They don't try at all to look like a keypad here with this. And once you're in a call, you also have controls for the speakerphone, which you can hear is quite loud. And for switching to Bluetooth and away from Bluetooth. Got your call log here. Link to contacts, favorite people, all that good stuff. There really aren't any particularly exciting Acer custom applications in here, but they've loaded some nice third-party stuff. You've got RoadSync Calendar, RoadSync Mail on here. There's Spinlets, which is for multimedia sharing. You do get the Documents to Go viewer on the phone, and they've got something called Nemo Player here, which is a multimedia player, which never hurts because the Android 1.6 is pretty lame when it comes to multimedia playback software. So it's pretty much for photos, videos, and music. The phone has very good call quality. We're very impressed with that. Works fine with Bluetooth headsets. And again, it works with AT&T 3G as long as you have 1900 megahertz, which is pretty much most places currently for AT&T. phone has a dedicated camera button. You can see there's kind of a bevel here. It makes it a little bit hard to hit the button, especially you know when you're shooting a picture itself. It's okay for launching because you don't want to accidentally start the camera application. But camera is five megapixels, an autofocus lens. There is no flash. The camera takes decent pictures. It's not overwhelming. It's not better than say the Nexus One. Uh, settings are pretty basic here. You can choose your resolution, autofocus mode, exposure. Switch to the camcorder, color effects. Once you take a picture, you just tap over here and you can see the pictures you've taken. And there's the most recent picture we've taken. You have options to share, set it as your desktop background, or delete it. And you can zoom in. And you can pan and drag in this. So that's the Acer Liquid A1. It's available now from Expansus. Like I said, it's around $420 or so. Not a bad price for an unlocked, powerful smartphone. I'm Lisa from Mobile Tech Review. Visit our website to read the full review.